Just miss them fighting station. Yeah, my name's Wino Bob. I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and apparently he knows all the answers in the community to everything. Where to get what, who, who, who's doing what in the, you know, in the rich hood of, so, of, of OC and Sig's rich fucking neighborhood. And then eventually he dies at the end. So they're like, I think we should leave his dark. wine for him. Oh, uh, oh. D- w- was the wine what killed him? or uh, The loneliness. Uh, th- you know, I find that the two go hand in hand. <laughs> pretty. <true>. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, are we rolling? Are we good? Yep. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, introduction here. I kind of like to do it because um, I'm a control freak. Okay. And I just want to say uh, hello and welcome to yet another fun-filled episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I am, of course, See Nothing, your dear friend, Bill Schmidt. And today I'm joined by three friends. I have here a bottle of beer, a bottle of orange cello, and beside him is a bottle of wine. Folks, just a reminder, it is important to stay hydrated even during the winter months. And I guess I'm joined by Phil and Zach, too. Boys, welcome. We're, we're not part of the friends, though. No, no, no. 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 We're uh, just, just kind of scenery here. And that's really being generous. Uh, but welcome. What's going on, fellas? Oh, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's been good. The the drive is nice. Oh. And, and the Harold's chickens windows. Uh, what would you the Harold's chicken. yeah, Harold's chicken was great. I burned uh, I burned my thumb because those were fresh out of the fryer. Um, also, pretty sure I swallowed some chicken bone. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> good. And fill your pizza puffs. Um. Yeah, I, I had to wor- have like a napkin in my hand to not burn through my calluses. So and it was dripping <laughs> hot sauce, so yeah, it was it was like, you know, ha- trying to eat out a fat chick. It was really hot in there. You know? <laughs> that I, was that Shakespeare that you just quoted. That was I think so beautiful, King mm, Lear. It was the unreal. <laughs> it was the B sides. <laughs> <laughs> the unreleased, unreleased stuff of the yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah. You too know, uh, too audio real tape. for uh, for the fifteenth century. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to point out the elephant in the room. We're joined by someone who's not our good friend, John, who's taken the night off. Uh, instead, we are joined by our dear friend, Zach They, they still Domino. haven't told Say Nothing that Hanukkah's over. <laughs> right, that the, he's just busy. Just I just uh, I left that on his calendar so uh, I could come in and fill in. So. Then, and we very much appreciate but it. But on the bright side, that oil is still burning. So <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Fucking miracles. And that's what the season's all about. Here in January, it, it is the, uh, the middle of January, the middle of Hanukkah. Um, I like to think it's always Hanukkah, and that's just how I live my life. You know, I think that's a that's a decent way to live your life. It's a good way to wake up every morning. That's exactly right. Just to, uh, to uh, spin the dreidel, see how the day goes. Exactly right, but never burn the candle at both ends. No, because that's an affront to God. There's unless you got that, in, that unless you got an infection, and you got each candle in each ear, right? What's that shit called? Black magic. I don't <laughs> voodoo. <laughs> no, no, you never heard of that. No, <laughs> I, I I don't know why like, they sell it at. They actually sell it at. It's like uh, an earwax removal kit. I feel like that's a. I that's think a, so. No, no, like that it, would that would give you earwax. No, it, it's. I forgot what it's for. I forgot exactly what it's for. But I um I thought it was like old Where? black magic. Where uh, the hell shit. do they sell but this? They actually have it at like every Walgreens and the gr- like grocery store, Walmart. Is there some sort of like? Uh, do we not? Uh, what are they controlled by? Like witches or is there? I don't know. That's a weird I'm thing really just to sure. have on on the shelves. Yeah. Yeah. something to look into. Um, I was like, why don't they put incense in the ears or <laughs> other things? You know, <laughs> right? why the fuck? Because it, as we covered earlier, it's an affront. I mean, to I, pro- <laughs> I probably put a candle in my ear. When it's too fucking boring at mass to hold it, sure. You know, it's like I gotta put this somewhere to go text or feel up some hot schoolgirl. <laughs> All right, Sandry. Fun, fun <laughs> fact: uh, I actually had one of my first sexual experiences in a church. Um, okay. The priest is very nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my, Gentle uh, hands. My girlfriend yeah. at the time. There was a basement in the church where uh, the occasionally the youth group would meet. And they were in the upstairs, so we the, we made we made nice in the house of God, and it uh, it was a beautiful scene. It was. I doubt that very much. <laughs> Will Closer. you set the stage for us? 
I gotta say that is the the closest I've been to climax in a, in a church. Closer to God. Closer to God. Would you say that was your come to Jesus moment? It, it, I, there was some coming, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we we turn that uh, we turn that picture down. You know, sure. Like, uh, Somebody just walk in on you. And, At least you're on your knees. Finish up. <laughs> Why did yeah, they have that she was, She she prayed really hard for uh, for that one. And how old were you? Seventeen. Okay, right on. I um doing some community service, just taking a break. I was servicing something. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh really really drunk the first time when I was in, like fifth grade at church, because I was a altar server. I think you got like some extra credit or some shit for religious class and plus i had i I, that's where i learned how to play guitar uh for the chorus line it was that that's the funny thing that to this day i only know like six chords and i got what seven fucking albums out of it (laughs) (laughs) it's It's like the beatles you know no you could do it you could do it with uh, a lot of simplicity no but uh, i I, most most honestly most most the shit i learned through ear like i don't need to learn notes or anything i just learned by I, I hear that entirely. That's uh, yeah. that was my uh, upbringing musically as well. So yeah, but but it sucked when you had a fucking nun slapping her yardstick at your fingers when you fuck up the chord, and she's giraffe shaped and looked like a burn victim on her face. Dude, that's, that's very scary. Uh, that's that's giving me a little bit of arousal to be honest. <laughs> 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 Taking you back to that church basement, <laughs> Sister Mary Paul, man. Right, right back, right back there. That, uh, but she, uh, yeah, we we used to um. You know when they make that offering thing in Catholic Church where they're like, and now we have the Jesus chips, and they make the yeah yeah the, yeah, yeah. the ringing uh, of the bells. It's called the Eucharist. Is it the Eucharist? Yeah. No, I, I thought the Eucharist it. was a thing, like an actual physical thing. That's like you can hold the Eucharist. That I think that whole it's part of the ceremony. It's actually the Eucharist, yo. The, what is it called? The Eucharist. Ah, got it. No. Uh, in Spanish, the Eucharist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. God, we're so cultured. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm well, so tired. I'm just uh, dragging behind you guys. Like, what? I don't. Oh, I get it. Um, uh, I would like to talk about a little, a little cultural fact. Um, by all means. So, my roommate and I decided that we're going to take a trip to Spain. Okay. And uh, we are we are going to learn Spanish. Um, he is first generation Mexican, so he has a little bit of a jump on me. Uh seeing as he's like fluent in Spanish. And uh who made the decision? Uh it was a joint decision. Um the uh, learning so Spanish part was, involved? was oh it yes <laughs> it, it was also a joint decision. Um and uh so I decided to to go at uh, Duolingo, which is a a popular app and it told me that I'm 27% fluent, which is a fucking lie because <laughs> uh he tried speaking to me in Spanish and I didn't it was literally another language (laughs) (laughs) but that's uh that's about the extent of my culture uh i went to canada recently what happened there uh i got yelled at by by a very angry frenchman french frenchman at a uh hostel that i was playing at um so because of our president was it a hostel (laughs) it was a hostile environment It, it certainly was but uh that's really about all the culture I have. <laughs> and what more do you need? I don't. Have, have you listened to our podcast at all, Sandra? Is this your first exposure to it? Um, I've listened to uh, bits and pieces. I listened to a fair amount of the the uh, uh, pilot run. Sure. Um, yeah. Well, just so you know what you're getting yourself into, uh, it's a highly intellectual program, and it features today's most preeminent uh, political and philosophical minds discussing relevant issues. And it's very topical and very, very tasteful. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the only exception, obviously, being when I try and trick our friend into singing songs for us and making sexual comments about his family. But other than that, it's very, very highbrow are you stuff. Gonna, are you going to try and... Vote? You, you're not going to do that to me, right? Well, time will tell. The <laughs> evening's <laughs> early. And uh, I still yeah. got to get to know my friends a little better. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, it brings us closer together. It absolutely it does. does. So now, since we had Ross do his German accent, can you do your uh, Spanish? Imp- uh, oh, accent? no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, can you do us? Are, we, are we doing uh, Spain or? Uh, they, if we're doing Spain, it has that little bit of lisp. Ignacio. Wait, whoa, um, whoa, whoa! The Le lisp Amos. is it's is on it? the C's and the Z's. 
not the S. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> so, Is it t- like yeah. the person who laughs so cerveza, nervously, like cerveza, like yeah, the or person who laughs cerveza. nervously with the cerveza. braces, <laughs> cerveza. But if you were having multiple beers, it would be cervezas. I feel like, like if I'm having multiple beers, it's going to be cervezas anyway. Th- right. <laughs> At a certain point, it's all just lists. Yeah. Um, and do you know how that came about in the Spanish uh, dominion? No, I, I, I gave you all the culture I had before. All right, so, well, let's uh, grow a please, little bit. Uh, please tell the story. There was a Spanish king who had a lisp, and he was very uh, self-conscious of it, and so... Oh, I thought he, like each line was gonna rhyme, like it's a <laughs> no, like, like a, a limerick. A, yeah, <laughs> there's a Spanish. There once was a king in Spain <laughs> whose lisp was so bad he'd complain. He tried and tried and never knew why, so he made everyone else talk with the lisp. Too. <laughs> that, and thank use their you. Brain. Inspired work. Inspired right, yeah, by Bill Schmidt, everybody. Dude, we need that to be a part of Bill's limerick. <laughs> I don't. It just there comes we go. That's me. a that's a segment. A new segment. Uh, did you guys see the the haiku I posted on Facebook? I did not. Could you read it? Oh my god! Can I share it, Phil? Do you like haiku? Sure. All right. So this poem is entitled "Shit," a haiku by Bill Schmidt. Is Which it over? <laughs> it's just beginning, baby. But there's only three lines, so it's short. Yeah. Shit. Rainwater flowing to a rusted sewer grate. Shit can be pretty too. Thank you. Nice. It makes you think. You know, it uh, it really um. It really stimulates my, you know, my uh, curiosity bone. It's know? about fascism. Did you get that? It's about fascism. Well, you know, I think you're. I, the, I, you're I thought it was just about shit. That's what I got. No, well, that I too. thought I. I think you're thinking neo-fascism because you know the the old school the that that shits out. You know. Mm. I do love the Matrix, and Neo was my favorite character. So thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Speaking of shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of shit. Yes. I I. Uh, so I've been on this, actually part of, I, I, I had a, to our friends in Ireland, as usual, for our podcast, our biggest fan group, we, um, I, I recently had a really, really bad anxiety attack a few days ago. It was just, oh, I didn't end, like, I, I was, I had a bad argument with a fucking idiot at work about cars and guns. This, he was telling me somehow the Bill of Rights and Constitution says that I need to own a machine gun and a Ford truck somehow. Somehow that's what he told me. And somehow I'm the enemy for driving a golf Volkswagen. So any anyways, I ended up coming home and I'm like, dude, I feel like shit, man. I'm I had a gallon of stress free tea. And then I'm like, no, dude, I still feel like shit. So then I had two gummies of melatonin to try and sleep off the attack. No, dude, this is getting worse. And then I had like a full fucking bowl. And then, dude, it was really, it It went from, I'm watching Three Stooges, the first five minutes I'm laughing my ass off, and then like the rest of it, I'm like, that really has to hurt when they hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what they're going through. They're friends. Why are they doing that to each other? <laughs> So uh, what's ma- what what did what was Mo's childhood like that he's so <laughs> such a bully you know <laughs> and so so yeah it, it was it was really bad but the one thing that I couldn't get out of my mind I'll mention after but point is I think the reason why I had the attack too was because when I take so- when I do something I take it to the extreme and I I've been dieting where uh since the new year this one's this is the only sure. resolution I'm living up to uh-huh. but soups and salads and then I run. I try to run six miles every day, but I run five usually. And it's just been a fucking wear on me. You can imagine when I go from like whatever the fuck you want, Harold's chicken pizza diet to running five miles every day and then eating nothing but soup and salad. Like your body needs fucking something to digest. So I come home and, I, and you know, you're supposed to run first and then you're supposed to eat. Like you're not supposed to eat before you run. Like, you got a carbo load, I, I thought. Yeah. See, I think it goes both ways. Like, yeah, well, then, well, that I mean, that's the way that I was following. Just because, sure. I don't know. I felt like I felt like if I eat first, oh yeah, well, because I come home at five. Mm-hmm. If I eat first, you got to give like three, four hours before. Yeah, and then you end up running at fucking nine p.m. and then you got to sleep and wake up at four a.m. So, I and anyways, I'm like, dude, I need. I'm so fucking hungry right now, and I come home with Gavin, and gotta love the Gavin stories, man, dude. <laughs> This kid, I'm just chilling on my computer, and I hear, help, help. 
I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, tell me he didn't like hit puberty or some shit, you know? And I go in the bathroom and he's standing there fucking naked with the toilet plunger. He shat this clay ball out of soft, like, I know it was pure green cuts because that's what I made him eat the other day because they were about to expire. And he's just standing there fucking naked. I got to see his fucking egg roll, you know? <laughs> St- mm. and, I'm, and, and there's shit overflowing. Every, and I'm like, dude, thank you because I just lost my appetite and I'm going to go run, <laughs> you know? And, and then, yeah. I mean, because, you do what you got to do. Right? <laughs> but, but, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm telling Kelly, she's like, what, well, what was he supposed to do? He never plunged a toilet. I'm like, yeah, but it feels fucking weird to see that fucking egg roll standing out and then this shit overflowing, you know? <laughs> and it, it yeah, was you just don't a, a scar. I may have associate the two, you know? Yeah. Growing and then, up like, oh, my dick then, is shit. Well, it scarred me because then I, I, I'm i having an attack and all I picture is fucking oh egg rolls God. When, when I'm having my attack. <laughs> that would, you know, yeah. I, I do honestly say that that would probably make it worse. Oh. They, they can't do anything to help the cause yeah. at, at that point. Yeah. So does he normally take shits naked, or did he ever explain that? Part no, of no. Him? He, I, I guess he was gonna take a shower afterwards, but he was constipated, so he like brought a, I don't know, one million facts book with him, and he's reading on the shitter, and I'm like, don't become that guy. You're, you're gonna be there <laughs> two hours on the shitter. You, you don't flush. You're you're letting that scent seethe into the fucking walls. You know, don't. No, no books allowed in there. Nip it in the bud. Yeah. And no, just your phone. Just your phone. <laughs> Come on, Gavin. Uh, to get with the get with the tech of the day. Yeah. So you hit him with the plunger, and then what did you do? And then I, I I was like, eat that fucking. I was like, where's the money, Lebowski? And stick his head in the fucking clay pit shit. Oh. You know? Like the nihilists. Go ahead. You're a strong oh, you know, figure. speaking of the, yeah, that that psycho at my work, he called me. He said, "All right, nihilist." That was the end of the argument. So, did you did you ask him to define nihilism? Because I always find that fun. It seems to me that uh, the only people who ever mention nihilism don't seem to know a fucking thing about <laughs> it. Because <Yeah, yeah. laughs> uh, I have a feeling I I know his explanation of nihilism. Well, well, funny thing is, I I I don't really. He's he's like they don't believe in anything. I'm like. <laughs> Did you use Big Lebowski as your research? Yeah, because you know? uh, that's it's not a good source for that. Yeah. Um, for those of you listening, uh, nihilism is the idea that the strong will prevail over the weak and that nothing really matters. Um, this guy probably thought it was some form of socialism brought on by our Kenyan master who is still running a blacked out government over, uh, over our current one. Um, it's Barack Obama, in case anybody was was wondering. Yeah, thank you. Um, as I, I <laughs> as a like, what? Um, as the uh, as the the you know uh, future senator of Arizona, Joe uh, Arpaio would put it. Um, we need to spend more time looking into this Kenya thing. You know. I know. I said earlier that the show was uh, political and topical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll <laughs> cut. I'll cut the shit. <laughs> Well, no, it's just, it's embarrassing to me because I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking like, what the fuck's Arizona? (laughs) (laughs) Senator? Um, But anyway, no, I both, I know both of you are far more political minded than I am. So if you want to have at it, by all means. No, I'll make stupid little. This was was my mistake. (laughs) Uh, We're waiting for Bill Maher to come. Right. Oh, God. Well, you've got a different bill and sorry to disappoint. But the best I can do is the occasional dick joke or maybe uh, a quick pun here or there. So, um, anyway, continue. Continue. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, recently I've been watching, um, I think, uh, yeah, I started to tell you this after the last episode, but we were both really drunk and high when I was dropping you off. Sounds about right. So, have you guys uh, ever seen the 72 compilations on Netflix? Mm, It's like 72. I no. Yeah, they have this really goofy shit like 72 most dangerous places to live in or 72 cutest animals and they play like Teletubbies music in the background, the whole thing. And I'm going I'm to find this when I get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's awesome. I, I started watching 72 most, da- for some reason it was so specified, most dangerous animals in Latin America. And they have one for like Australia and all this, but I thought the Latin America was... The only one so I ended up watching like seven seasons, but <laughs> <laughs> any any like 
I know everything down there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about culture. <laughs> yeah, so, there you go. That, but, there's your dose of culture today. But yeah, I, I, it was it was great because uh, the the two things that stood out for me there was a uh, funny there's a spider that when it gets angry it's like a tarantula and it's got a huge I don't know what it's, the the spider booty that Thor- booty thorax I believe. It it, it, look, it looks like a black widow, but it's not, and it's got that that Ooh. third ass thing. It's huge, that thick thick and, booty. Yep, and then and then when it gets angry, its fangs turn red. It goes from dark red oh, to oh, that's all sorts of no, no, yeah. No, no. <laughs> and then it stands up on hind legs and gets you. And the funny thing is that I you have me. three hours to uh like have an antidote or something, or you die, and or you you yeah you have three hours to put the antidote in you so that it works because after three hours you have like a 72 hour uh death where it's stimulant like it, it it just like cramps the fuck out of your muscles but the funny thing they said on here was that like it uh for guys only it gives you a 72 hour boner and and then they're like <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're I, I, have tr- a, I have a feeling i know where this is going yeah they're, 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 they're talking about it super sophisticated and trying to explain like the process so we we took that analysis and sold it to gas stations that sell viagra you know <laughs> like like off the street viagra so and, and, so people are getting bit by spiders no no they so, so they so they can have a 3 day uh like Sexcation. The, 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 they're using that chemical, yeah. And in, in those, uh, I, I don't know what you would call them. That fucking, it's it's like um, nature's so handy. Like, uh, Spanish Age. fly. Yeah. That only only it works. <laughs> really it, well. It, it'll look like some Ajax powder, and it's called you know like the the blue sky. Can I keeps can, you, can, can keep, I find this at a gas station near me? Um, yeah, I'm I, I'm sure I'm sure it won't be called blue sky, but I, we're we're asking for our friend. Okay. Yeah, I, d- I would never use it. Yeah, no. <laughs> which which friend? Because I'd have to go to work with the, okay. with the giant erection. How, so, how much bigger does this friend need to be in front? Of, out of these three friends in front? Of you? <laughs> um, for this guy. Okay, I'll I'll have to look into that. I'll I'll write seventy two most dangerous only in Latin America. Right. Right. Well, and then and then the 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 other animal that I. Uh, you know what? Actually, I forgot the other animal. So fuck that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, God dude. damn it! Fucking I, that animal sucks. That anyway. you just got you just got all those Not fucking egg roll dicks in my mind again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that distracts me. Just no. rolling over and over. Yep. Uh, that uh, reminded me of church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was one of you know I was going to use that as one of my stand ups, and Bill said I shouldn't. That I mean, is child porn really fucked up if you're a child, or is it considered the good shit? You know, <laughs> or or is that just what the priest um, told me? You know, uh, as a as a child pornography enthusiast, sure. Um, nope, I can't go any further than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. So 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 then the other thing that that made me laugh my ass off. There's this guy on. I don't like when I first saw him. I'm like, all right. So they have they obviously are gonna have one fucking dork who's gonna. Be like, yes, I'm in this one episode of this really obscure documentary. I'm fucking famous. But for some reason, he's in every episode. Have you heard of this uh, Sting of the Wild Sting King guy? No. I, I got to say, I, I don't know exactly what you're talking about, no. but that sounds very familiar to me somehow. Okay. <laughs> Th- this guy this guy looks like he's n- just malnutrition his whole life, really twiggy, has a really... Like he he's ninety, but he has like this hipster haircut where it's a bowl cut to his like where his hairline starts. So he he just has this bowl cut that looks like I don't know. He's like a ninety year old lesbian or something. I don't know. It it just he he just looks really. And then he's got this like draw on mustache. He he looks like somebody who survived meth. I guess is the best way to describe it. And and he's those are and, the scariest people. <laughs> 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 Nothing can kill them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised because so he, what he's famous for. He wrote a book where he's like, okay, we're going to analyze this based on my pain level. And he starts the book like he cuts his uh, finger open with a razor. And he's like, okay, out of a hundred, here's where it goes on my pain level. And then he just makes this diary and goes around the world oh, getting stung by I know exactly. Okay, that's why I had heard of him. <laughs> yeah. uh, NPR did a piece uh, mm-hmm. where they interviewed him, and he was, he was explaining uh, pain levels. 
and that he uses from from what I understood of it, he uses the common bee sting as like the the standard. Yeah. And he's talking. Oh yeah, I remember that was real fucked up. I remember him <laughs> talking about all this shit that he's like, yeah, and I let it bite me to see how it felt. And it's like he's like, yeah, and these ones have poison, so it was a little bit different. I'm like what fucking psycho. <laughs> 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 You show respect <laughs> to the Sting King. Yeah, I, you know what? I How don't want to fuck you. with the Sting King because the Sting King's probably friends with all these animals. And right. <laughs> so. the, the, the best is him trying to keep his composure because they, they have <laughs> they, they had like a – they put it in the final cut of this scene that wasn't supposed to happen where he's going after that boner spider. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, with the antidote, I yeah, hope. Yeah, well, yeah, they yeah. talked to him on IPR, so he – he survived, I guess. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they had a antidote like like on site or whatever. But but it's so funny because he just goes with a twig to like this palm tree. He's like, we're ju- we're just gonna diddle this tree. Just get him, just to see him stand up on his hind legs. Just to get him. Oh, he's on my floor. Oh, leave me alone. He's like, <laughs> just, that's the rest of the episode. He's like, all right, and now it's it's spreading to my neck, uh, just for documentary purposes. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> so really riveting right. stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a that's some pretty hardcore shit. Uh, and do they keep his dick in frame? I, they, I, they I, did he wear mesh shorts just to demonstrate? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think he would agree to that unless he g- got to document during the slicing of the dick. You know, mm, right? Like, uh, all right, he's halfway through. I'm not feeling any poison though. Uh. Yeah, do you think that guy gets a uh, general <laughs> anesthetic when he uh, when he gets surgery? Probably not. Uh, no, because obviously he's got some sort of thing. But I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say fetish, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily not say that. Yeah, I I wonder if when he starts to burn out, like like kind of like when anybody an actor or comedian does when they start to fade away, if he just somehow tries to keep his book alive, it's like yeah, I'm I'm walking through Inglewood. Uh, <laughs> wait, what is it? Wait, how many people are mobbing me right now? Oh, there's six people. <laughs> Kick to the face. Uh, it's not as bad as. Oh, I just got shot in the belly. Uh, that's that's on the pain meter at 116. Like, think of think of a bee sting as the standard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Right. laughs> so, what, is a bee sting one or is that? Uh, I I think uh, I guess I I don't remember any numerical units, but I think he he said baseline. So I'm assuming bee sting would be like one. Mm-hmm. Right, and they said uh, a scorpion was like ten. I think one type of scorpion that he was talking about in particular. Yeah, um, I don't follow scorpion lore, so sure I don't. Uh, I don't know exactly what scorpion, or okay. uh, I don't even know if there are more than one. I think there are. I probably. Yeah, they they have some cool facts on there though. It's a good show. They like. I guess you could freeze any scorpion. And keep it for however long, and then it un- thawed, and it still survives. I've, I have actually heard that, really? and that is goddamn terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> huh. They didn't have any sharks or freaking laser beams attached <laughs> to their heads, though. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. So, what was the most dangerous animal? Uh, I, I don't know. Of Latin America. Of Latin, I don't. I don't know, man. They had, because c- c- it's really goofy how they. Um, like come up with the numbers each uh, each episode has seven animals and there's okay. seven ranks and then like oh well this one kills more people like whatever 500,000 per year but this one has 600,000 who live but have traumatic side effects you know sure it's like wh- who weighs out with who you know would you rather die or live in pain you know the answer is that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty heavy question to be answer, to yeah. asking what i'm assuming is a mostly stoned oh. audience <laughs> 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 you, you you know they had an ep- the, uh, one thing I thought was really cool. There's a like a uh, banned I I don't know what you would call it like a prohibited island that you cannot go on in I think it was the the Caribbean where it's completely there's a an, an endangered snake that's more um, dangerous than the black mamba and oh. it's 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 yellow and it's really skinny and for some reason because it's endangered. For, because the venom is so powerful, they're using it as it's powerful because it travels through your bloodstream so quick. You'll be dead in like an hour. So they're using it for research like insulin or or so that it, for, or a diabetics so that it like goes through you at faster speed. So they're ke- trying to keep the snake alive, even though it's dangerous. So they just made this huge population on this 
FBI owned island. Burn and, it down. No. Nope. Yeah. But no, no way. And you're, no, and you're, no and thanks. Burn it down. You're, you're like not allowed. Yeah, when when they go to the island, you're like it's all filmed with like a drone because you're not allowed to go on there. Sure. So, Dude, I just burn it down because one of those things you could get some like uh, rubber wingies and uh, swim across the <laughs> channel. Uh, <laughs> as Sounds soon as those things movie. figure out how to how to get into the water, we're all fucked at right. that. Oh yeah, if they could swim, oh man. Yeah. Did you, did you guys? They they had sharks and dude. I, I'm sorry, man. Even before my isolation tank experience, I just have a love connection with killer whales and orcas. I fucking love them. I don't know, man. But they had orcas on there. But it, but it reminded me of. Did you hear the about the kid that got his um arm ripped off by a shark and then reattached? By the same shark? Yeah. yeah. The doctor shark. Is that <laughs> the nurse yeah. shark came in. Yeah, yeah. no, there, there was um, a guy, I, th- I think it was in like Cuba, where he there were, you, you know, the shark attacks all happen in shallow water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, and they were in shallow water and there was a tiger shark. The, the kid was like only like five or six mm. and it just took his arm off whole, just ripped it off. So he and it's bleeding like crazy. So he takes him to the hospital, and this guy's like, "Oh no, he didn't!" Like I'm so fuck. And because they got him under the, like all the, they got all these tubes in him, and he's it's his fucking first son. He's dying. He's like, "I'm fucking getting back." And he goes to the beach. <laughs> two hours later, finds that shark because I guess there's like flesh in his teeth still. Then like wrestles him and then slits his belly open, gets the arm, and then reattaches it. <laughs> and, 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 and this is a true story and and, and now this i mean it, it healed and everything but i mean the kid it didn't heal right the kid looks like fucking jimmy from south park okay you know, like, how, how the, would you how do you live up to that as a child yeah. right I mean, like, like also like how do you live that down like that kid can't do anything wrong because is that you know well he's probably know, like my dad really loved me <laughs> either that or like he, he's gonna have a rebellious streak and his dad's gonna be like do you remember that time where i wrestled a fucking shark to get your arm back that that probably ends every argument with it that does, well, yeah <laughs> because what do you say to that <laughs> the only thing you can say that is yeah i remember i didn't mean <laughs> to get him pregnant <laughs> Do you remember that time? <laughs> 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 uh, so to answer the question, man is the most dangerous animal. Yeah. Makes you think. Yeah. Yeah. I think sweet red rue is the most red. Right that, that's that's, the most a, that's one of, uh, that's the biggest of Bill's friends. That's exactly right. And the one I visit the least. I'm not really a wine guy. So this is kind of a, uh, you know, a fun little. Uh, oh. There was two other. I, I just reminded me. I don't mean to cut you. Sure, I, not I, to I, interrupt you. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but, but oh wait, now I'm pissed you. off. No, I'm pissed. <laughs> no but the, uh, there, the the two other things that was cre- there was a. Uh, I don't think it, it might have been a sloth, but do you know sloths when they um no no it wasn't a sloth it was something it was something like a sloth maybe like a weird reptilian bunny but <laughs> there's <Okay. laughs> like a what if you want, like a real thing to <laughs> yeah yeah there, there there's some bunny on that 72 72 animals show where they the uh, oh no no you, no you a know jack what rabbit maybe you, no no you know what it was it was a mix between it was it was a middle between an alligator and a lizard it was it, it was crazy beca- because you know alligators are kind of slow and they only go forward and then they yeah. roll but lizards can like hop everywhere. It was like an alligator that can hop and do backflips and shit. So okay, the, you put that shit on the island and we light it all on fire because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so the, so uh, w- w- this girl that was studying koalas or some shit, she got a limb torn off, but then hmm. she like didn't have to go to the hospital because I guess when they they go so deep and have such a turning, they have a turning strength of uh, three tons. Oh, Jesus Christ! Like the, the How jaw. big are they? The, they're they're the size of a dog. That's what's crazy. The 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 jaw strength is three times. So I could keep one as a pet, is what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I bet you no one would ever break into my apartment. That would be <laughs> that. That's the greatest home defense. Until what if like they're over three tons. Ooh. What well, if we got we got bigger issues? In <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be fat shaming the obese burglars. You know. But maybe right. that I mean I guess they have an advantage at, at this point. Yeah. But that wouldn't that require his just his arm to be over three tons? Oh yeah. Because yeah. weight distribution. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. W- but she didn't have to go to the hospital because uh because of how powerful the twist is. I guess it tied all her uh major blood vessels in a knot. 
Oh. So it's like a clean amputation. So, I mean, I guess that, that that's that's nice. Nice enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. Better than the shark. Yeah, th- that know? shark was rude. Yeah, that dude was a dick. So do you think that uh, that's like veal to them? or uh, What, young, child, ch- young children? Child. Uh, Probably, yeah. I mean... Like if you eat a child... You're the high class alligator. Yeah. Type yeah, I guess that would be the the you know the the tenderest meat. Yeah. Oh, you guys just eating those oh, fucking old ladies. We got a crew over here eating the good shit. You know. Maybe I feel like I hear a lot about kids in particular. So maybe kids are like the common. Yeah. Maybe they're the McDonald's of the. They're, they're the sting. Kids and like so like uh, but like pro surfer is like uh <laughs> like the creme de creme is that. Uh, <laughs> The 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 last thing I remember is, did you guys know how like armadillos carry fucking crazy diseases? Yeah, I, I did. I know did that. know that. I re- oh, I remember just knows that. Fucking everything. No, like, we oh. I I have family down uh, uh in Sarasota, Florida, and we used to visit them, and we used to see armadillos all the time. And my father was very adamant as uh, when we were children, do not fucking touch them. They are cesspools of disease, <laughs> and you cannot that. touch them. Yeah, I didn't. I, and, and, and didn't say shit about the alligators, which, by the way, were everywhere. <laughs> but don't fuck with armadillos, man. Did, did you know they're bulletproof? I, yeah, I really? heard that. I didn't know that was true, though. Yeah, yeah, they they <laughs> proved it on the show. They were showing like they were saying how like, just taking pot <laughs> shots at a fucking yeah, armadillo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah there there'd be like. Don't tell uh, Latin America's don't version. Don't tell your uh, your truck loving buddy that because uh, oh yeah, he'll yeah. get a pipe bomb just to prove you yeah. wrong. You know it had a, that was a registered pipe bomb. Okay, <laughs> you find that fucking serial number in a shard. Okay, no, but but yeah, he, I guess there were, um in the the redneck version of Latin America, there was just guys like oh let's go shoot some armadillos in the yard and they would shoot them and it would like ricochet off and like hit the fucking person back. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like so, that's that's so like cartoonish. So, yeah, let's say like some Yosemite Sam shit. <laughs> that's uh, awesome though. I I mean I wonder if there were like the first thing that went to my head being um whatever some Skyrim black metal nerd is like w- was there like a like armor. Viking army in Latin America that had like armadillo armor? You know, dude, they had to. I you know what? If you figure if you like or starving part of part of like a tribe down there and you shot an arrow at one of those things that just bounced the fuck off yeah that one of two things is about to happen you're about to kill that thing and regain your pride or you're going to worship it because it, it can't be killed by your hand and either way you could turn that shit into armor well now without getting a lot of disease well you Makes uh, it, wash makes it, it even more dangerous. Wash it, it. yeah. The, so even hand to hand combat is dangerous v- for you too, I guess. But war is crazy. Right. Uh, exactly right. Yeah. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong, man. Yep. Think about that. Yeah. So I recently watched a. Uh, have you guys seen? I I don't know if we talked. Yeah, I think we talked about the the Tupac movie. Mm-hmm. So. I'm just repeating myself. I don't know what else I got lined up. Well, yeah. Let's talk to Sandry. We've got a new friend with us. I, I was gonna. Do you, have you listened to King Gizzard? I have not. No. Yeah, they they just um tickets went on sale Friday. They're coming in June. Fucking amazing band. I have to review them. They're absolutely amazing. I never listened to them because when I had my psychedelic neo psychedelic band, I would when you submit your shit to like Spotify and iTunes mm-hmm. first you got to be like oh well what do you guys sound like and then they put you in this like group of where they where they would rate so, you yeah the, yeah where, where, and then when people listen to that band you sort of pop up mm-hmm. and then after about a year or something after listens uh you actually get a i don't know what you call it like a more accurate match of of what people listen to and i would crow uh, uh, clex would always be Com- compared to King Gizzard and I was like I don't want to fucking listen to this band because then people are going to think I was influenced by it or something I-, I just I just wanted to just keep writing my own <laughs> shit and then dude they are fucking awesome they're like a seven eight piece band they got the oh really Zernas flutes they got the snake charming flute and then they, they have uh, two drummers and it just sounds like straight up it sounds like what I wish the 60s sound like 
basically. Huh. I don't know how to. It's 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 a mix. It's I don't, I don't even what what to. You, you've listened to some Bill, right? I some, have. and I just remember being at a bar in New Orleans, and it was they had a jukebox, and it was one of those old ones. Like not the new touch tone one or whatever. Where it actually had like like shit like, like forty fives in them, yeah. And it's like I want this CD and this track, and they I was looking for like right on. Let's listen to some Aerosmith. Let's listen to some fucking Lead Belly. Let's listen to anything. Eagles. That, yeah, Eagle anything, and they didn't have anything, but they had King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yep. And I was like, All right. that, that's an amazing name. That's yeah. the whole yeah. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming to Chicago, June and June tenth. Uh, and I found out when. Remember, I showed you Pipe Eye. Mm-hmm. They're, re- they're really there's a guy named Pipe yeah. Eye. It, it's just, uh, I think he has like a wah on his. Um, he has a weird organ. I forgot what it's called. It's it's like a '60s organ, but it has just one. It uh, it sounds like the Jeopardy theme song, but but, <laughs> okay, but, but, okay. but it's but it's got a wah on it. And I was like, oh, man, this sounds so goofy. It sounds great when you're high. I found out it's the guitarist from King Gizzard, Pipe Eye. Oh, that makes sense. So, <laughs> oh, really? So, so, so then, it, well... Uh, is the, that his nickname? Do they call him Pipe Eye? Or? I, I think that's just his band. That, they call him Cookie, which is, I think, even cooler. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I want to know that. But I really want to know that backstory. Yeah. I, well, oh, his, uh, his real name is Cook. Cook Craig, I think. Oh, the, but I was hoping so, for like a, yeah. a better backstory. Yeah, yeah. He seems pretty inspired bit. now that you know. It, yeah, like, like that's it. That was a pretty. He used easy, to be yeah. this very sugary, tasty, transsexual prostitute, you know. And then Cookie was his street name. See that? Know. That I enjoy. That would that would be a cool documentary. That I would right eat there. with milk. Yeah. He only fucked in a jacuzzi of milk in a heart shaped <laughs> fryer of milk. <laughs> <laughs> You stay the fuck away from my dog, <laughs> okay. all right? Uh, no, but 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 uh, the thing that I'm really impressed and I, I, that made me fall in love with this band, the stuff that you heard might not be the best stuff, Bill, because they, I, I, I like looked into this because I cannot believe this shit. They fucking had four albums when they were being compared to my band, like on Spotify or whatever. Mm-hmm. This year, two thousand or two thousand seventeen, so last year, they were, they 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 told everyone, hey. We cannot tour anymore. We're going to fucking kill each other because touring just makes you want to, like, rip each other apart. So we're just going to keep writing all the shit we haven't recorded. And they wrote five fucking albums in 2017. Holy shit. And and they all sound amazing. They all sound amazing. That's, I can't. that's pretty fucking prolific. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll look into that. I'll definitely look into that. Yeah. Tickets and are on you sale. And you, you cannot uh, forget a name like uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. But yeah. <laughs> You say that, but no, you're probably right. <laughs> that, do you have a follow up? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just playing we, devil's advocate here. We were at Harold's Chicken, and they did have King Gizzards there. That's they, true. They, they were on they special. Did, they did. I, they did. I'm I not joking. See. Oh, really? And King Gizzards, yeah. So, uh, chicken gizzards, I would assume. Yeah, they have it all there. King Gizzard and the chicken. Wizards? Have you guys ever had gizzard? I, I have not. I usually take that part out of the turkey and throw it straight in the garbage. I, I heard it's not good. It's like a just really fucking rubbery and chewy, like it, it's chicken flavored gum or rubber. That yeah. sounds like it. this isn't the Wonka factory, so that's got to be fucking gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> like atomic fire cotton candy. Oh, oh no, that's thank so. You. Is there some down here? It's yeah, right, it's right, yeah, it's right in front oh, of you. Is it really? Mm-hmm. I'll open it. All right. Bam! Operation. Oh. So who uh, who decided to make this abomination of man? Dude, you've this, never even tried it. I I can see it. This this one's pretty good actually. It's so this good. one is good. I'll do. I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll toss. Yeah. Oh shit! Sorry, man. Uh, all <laughs> right. Is, is it? Really? it? I I'd still eat it. I would too. It's, yeah, it's cotton candy, man. I bet that's what Willy Wonka insulates his pad with. That right? I bet he has a terrible bug problem too. Yeah. Oh yeah, here you go. Bam! Right Did right you grab a piece? Oh yeah. Oh, is this the floor cotton candy? Yep. Yeah, oh, good. I I grabbed from the uh, the non floor. Ah. Uh, so. Yeah, you're Ke- so repressed. Uh, well, Ke- Kelly works next to a place that uh 
makes this shit, just weird flavors. We have a really funny of uh, video of Gavin where uh, we, we t- I think we told him it's like root beer flavored. And then he eats it, and it's actually like sweet baby Ray barbecue sauce. Oh, that's so <laughs> gross! Like, he's like, "Why did this you make?" This is actually pretty good, though. I, I, uh, right? yeah, right? I judged it too soon. It, th- there was a cupcake, which I, I don't like because I don't really like sweets that much. But yeah, but I did. I loved uh, popcorn. Popcorn tasted. Oh, all I can think of is uh, is the jelly beans, popcorn flavored jelly beans. So gross. Yeah. Oh no, no, no I don't. Got, well, it's buttered popcorn. It's the so, so basically, it just it it mm. tastes like uh, it, it, if you just opened your mouth underneath one of those like butter dispensers at yeah. an AMC theater, and then like put it in a jelly bean. And I do mean like in that quantity. It's like they packed they packed like two sticks of butter, yeah, but like fake butter. Oh yeah, and sugar. I don't like jelly beans in general, though. Yeah, I not a huge disgusting. fan. I feel like I can feel them just like gnawing at yeah, m- the enamel of my teeth, teeth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not a after not a after fan. eating jelly beans it's like that feeling when you don't brush your teeth and you wake up with like caked sugar yeah, yeah. that shit's gross <laughs> <laughs> fuzzy teeth yeah i know exactly know exactly how that is my mouth's an ocean and these are the coral no. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful man uh, I, hope, <laughs> I hope you don't have shit living in there yeah, yeah. Uh, oh i've got barnacles <laughs> I've got diabetes as well from that butter. If you're like me, I <laughs> have diabetes, something from diabetes. Oh, I'd God. like to remake that commercial while I'm running that theater popcorn into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just butter spilling down your face, getting in your thick white mustache, yeah. staining your cowboy hat that's on the ground next to you. You know what's funny? Um, I don't know if I told... Uh, I don't know if I told you, Bill, about my amputee friend. No. Not not Stubbs. That's <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but no, I don't think so. No, no. I I have a friend. I'm not going to mention his name because I'm actually just Facebook friends with him. So I'm probably disrespecting the fuck out of him right now. But he, how we were saying before, how it's like like anybody with a like us who have well, all of us sort of have like epilepsy, sort of a disability. So we crack jokes about it. Yeah. Oh, oh. I had a new. Yeah. I I had. I was gonna. I think I told you, Bill. I had a new joke I was going to say. Like, oh, Wait, hey. Back to your amputee friend. Oh, yes. I'm, One I'm thing a, at a time. Thank you, man. I need to focus. Uh, he he um, he has flesh-eating diabetes. I don't know. It's a really rare condition, but <laughs> is it? it um, I, you know, I want to I, I want to see that in uh, it, in a medical journal because yeah uh, yeah it's 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 a it's some weird condition. He said he that's that's the way he described it to me. So but but he thinks it's really funny that he doesn't care. Did he get diabetes from <laughs> like, eating too much flesh? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Of people with diabetes? <laughs> yes, yes. That that you hit it on the spot, Zach. The, of people with diabetes. That, yeah, no, yeah. but he um, I forgot. He he's just like really pr- proud that he doesn't give a fuck. He'll you know when people take pictures of like a really nice set up, perfect dinner, and then mm-hmm. put it on Instagram. He he'll go to like a gas station. Get like a Slurpee and then Cheetos and pork rinds. He's like, "Here's what's gonna eat me away tonight," and then <laughs> and, th- and then and then he and then he makes even funny memes where he'll his uh they actually had to chop off his hand so there's only like a stub on his wrist now, and he'll write a joke. I think I, I don't I don't remember what he said. He's like he was saying his ma was decorating the Christmas tree, and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my mom said I'm I'm decor. My mom said, "Hey, I'm decorating the Chris. Why, why don't I'm decorating the Christmas tree? Why don't you give me a hand?" Huh. And, you know, and then he's like, "Then this would happen." And then he took a picture of his stub. So it would have uh, had, had to take him a long time to type that out with just one hand. Yeah, right? uh, or you just get like really good at with that with creepy or you mean hand. or you mean mash it out? Oh, so. I guess. I mean, at that point. Just like banging on a keyboard. It doesn't matter how good Open he thought for the, the movie best. was. You can only ever give it one thumbs up. See, what I don't get is like, he's kind of, <laughs> what, what I don't get is he's kind of like a crust punk kid. It's like, man, if I was him, I would at least get like a fucking Captain Hook hook in that mosh pit, you know? What oh, hell yeah. Get, it'd, it'd go, <laughs> like, that would uh, that would be the first thing I would do is get a get a hook. Yeah. Either or, that or Luke Skywalker hand. 
Or like Army of Darkness. Like or, or or in Hook, where he's got the cigar holder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Or like a, or like a uh, magnifying glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's me. It's me. Or a prosthetic <laughs> hand. Mm. Well, that's what I was saying, Luke Skywalker hand. Oh. They actually, I was just reading about this, and... Um, they they have finally for the first time successfully attached prosthetic that uh can feel that attaches to the nerve endings and you can feel the tips of your fingers on a prosthetic hand. Huh. And I thought to myself, uh my insurance runs out this month. If I cut my hand off now <laughs> <laughs> I can start the cyborg revolution and I'm really considering it. So guys well, I'm wondering how that works because isn't that um, considered cosmetic? So would insurance cover it? Well, I, I guess I would have to make the case that it would uh, interfere with my work so it would no mm. longer be cosmetic. Sure. Um, I'd have to get a job first. That requires a lot of finger movement. Or that provides insurance? <laughs> you're gonna no, be no the I have a job that provides insurance. I you're going to be I'm the new Sting King. Yet. That's there we go. Yeah, I could be the sting and somehow somehow sell it like I need a hand for that. You're gonna need that alligator to roll your arm off perfectly. <laughs> yep, there we go. I bet you that's covered under his crazy yeah. ass insurance policy. Can you imagine that his insurance agent right. like shitting his pants every time he goes on one of these vacations, <laughs> going, No, my boss is gonna kill no. me. I, Shouldn't I, have signed him on. I, I would be like I don't want to forget about that cocksucker, so I want a, pr- I want a prosthetic fucking alligator attached to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Be like in Happy Gilmore. Yeah, uh, he's got the head <laughs> head for a hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any shows coming up, Sandry? Uh, uh, no. Um, I I was taking a break for a bit. Uh, I thought uh, my friend Bill here was very funny at uh at the the Halloween show, but I I felt that uh, it was not up to my standard on uh, on the playing, so I've been taking a back seat a little bit, working on some new material. <sighs> Mostly just drinking, crying. <laughs> <laughs> Which <laughs> is the it's most part, important part, it's part of the playing. It is. Yeah. It's part of the process. Yeah. Um, and so just nothing quick, booked, but... Uh, for our audience out there, uh, Zach Sandry, Domino Sandry, is a prolific singer-songwriter in the Chicagoland area. Uh y- yes that that is uh, accurate, uh, and I do I will have I will have shows at some point. Um, if you are curious, I'll do a, I'll do a little plug of myself. I'm not not usually uh, big or good on that, but you can check me out on Facebook or uh, or Twitter or at the Schnauz Records website backslash Domino Sandry. I think forward slash, because I think backslash is like it's leaning backwards. I think okay, or forward or forwards one of the slashes. Slash, just say slash. Just slash, or just go to the homepage I'm and click on my involved. name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm pissed off now. Um, uh, d- do follow my Twitter. It's really exciting. I don't know how to use Twitter. Um, <laughs> so when when things do go on there, it's very disjoint and, right. <laughs> and, and they're uh, always very uh, short. <laughs> I noticed that about your tweets. They're never over like 150 characters. N- no, there's Is they're there generally never over like 50 because I have nothing to say. I just need to I need to have some sort of presence, right? Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the last one I put up there was uh, legitimately was I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone retweet it? <laughs> no. <laughs> because I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> I yeah, me neither. I, that, that's why there's hear hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Can't go on Twitter because I don't know what the fuck. And pl- well, from what I've heard, it's just stupid fucking well, you gotta, trolling you gotta, gossip. I don't have the time for that shit. I mean, like if I had a publicist, maybe. But I there's no way I, I'm gonna be able to afford a publicist, and I don't have the time for that shit. You know, besides I, you, you, you give me that sort of platform to be that egotistical all the time, and I will become a monster. Yeah, like that shit is made for people like that, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever. Yeah, like or, people or, who just want to hear their own voice, or I guess see their own words. People. I always, I always thought about trying to make a Kickstarter for like something that doesn't matter at all, <laughs> just to see if it, just see how much money I could like milk out of it. I need a prosthetic. Yeah, alligator there we go. To my hand. You know exactly. That's how I get the Luke Skywalker hand is a is a Kickstarter. Help me cut off my hand to get a yeah. robot one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet you that would make some money. I doubt it. Oh. <laughs> would you donate to that? No, but I wouldn't donate to anything. Fair. I don't have money to do that. No, Actually, I do have did, money did to do you, that. I just won't. Did you guys hear? 
you guys hear about that uh fucking crazy bad shit idiot uh like it was like a woman reverend from the south where she posted some shit on I don't know if it was Facebook or something, but she made a Kickstarter and she said, "If you, if if each person doesn't donate one hundred to five hundred dollars to me by this night, the hand of God will eat you or something. Like the world will end." So, <laughs> she made, so like little children everywhere stole their parents' credit cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well the or, biblical boogeyman. Yeah, or 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 the the people being saved, you know, jolting, pretending to have a fucking seizure at that at that, you know church of hers sure. <laughs> talking in tongues I, I see the lord i see that gator i want to i just want to know what that feels like just to lose all control and, and not like in the like spiritual way just like we should you have to be mentally defunct at a certain level just to stand up in a in a crowd of people and just i'm saying i uh speaking Latin don't make backwards. fun of ross's german accent okay <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know I apologize I didn't uh, I didn't mean to to go down that road, <laughs> dude. Maybe Ross saw God last episode. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was just speaking in tongues. Yeah, I really quickly want to give Ross a quick shout out. I received a lot of feedback from our listeners that they thought he was a great addition to the show. And Ross, if you're listening, uh, a lot of people out there really appreciate what you <sighs> had to say. So we have to have that fucking asshole on again. I'm afraid so. <laughs> So stay well, tuned. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely tune into that one. That it's He he said he's available anytime. He's just Oh, he's full he'll, of shit. He says yeah, but but he's a pain in the ass to get on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, I have to check with my I have a wheelie, you know. Difficult FBI job with the grocery store I work at, you know. And, and I can't be a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of people. <laughs> All right, I'm pissed off. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got work the next day at 10 a.m. so he can't be out late and Yeah. We maybe we should just take the show to the grocery store. Ooh, there we go. Um, I like where your head's at. There's a joke there somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I, well, speaking of not knowing shit like Twitter, and I don't know, I don't, I don't even know how to do this shit live. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> but you know that. But that is better because then, like, I was watching Joe Rogan the other day, mm-hmm. and. He had uh, Ari Shafir, you know, the the amazing racist on. Sure. Yeah. And I think he was, he didn't want to, I guess he pisses a lot. So he was just pissing in a bottle during the show because he didn't want to like break things up. Sure. Oh. So do I, you, I, I don't do, really want to do that. Do, I was going to say, you don't want to get a piss bucket or, uh, I mean, Wait, maybe I a thought, trough we could all share. I thought that was in the hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing budget for 2018, our, 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 our piss pot. I, I thought we were just going to have, invite ross to be the piss bucket <laughs> that's no. well i don't want to i don't want to get in on any like budgetary disagreements i apologize if i uh, if i made some things tense yeah you're really messing this up tonight sandry <sighs> you know Spe- um, i think i need help from one of your friends bill <laughs> the, the the mr orange mr orange yes please S- speaking of bottles and piss I um yeah. <laughs> as I grab this oh, bottle of thick yellow liquid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. What a smooth transition. That was good. Right? We got to stick to topic here. Right, exactly. And when right. when we're on bottles and piss, you just you know, you got to yeah. No, but it's I, only professional to stay with the topic. Yeah. Yeah, it's it what um so I found it really um I f- first I found it I don't know. It was a weird between like a compliment, but also an insult where I run into people from my grammar school and they're like, wait, you're still alive. Wait, you're not in jail. Because I remember being in, I think it was seventh or eighth grade and we were on a trip to a museum and then we were on the trip back and I think they had like free free samples or Kool-Aid at the fucking museum or some shit. And I just totally raided the hell out of that because i was a fat little seventh grader with tits <laughs> Ooh, sugar water yes please <laughs> so so on the trip back i i had a i had i was i was a little s- fucking seventh grader with fat tits with my snap extra snapple after the free kool-aid and i had yeah i had nowhere to piss we're in the middle of fucking chicago <laughs> traffic and I'm like, all right, guys, I can't hold it in. I can't. You guys are going to you guys already make fun of me for being a <laughs> s- seventh grader with fat tits. 
I got to just keep a lookout for me. And I pissed in this bottle. Couldn't. I, I need to go a second time so it hurt like shit. Hold it in, <laughs> pouring it out the window, and then I go again, <laughs> and, and 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 then it's smeared all over the window. So I'm like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, and then I toss. So, and this is like bumper to bumper, not moving traffic. I toss it out and it lands on a guy's windshield, cracks open, pouring all over. <laughs> and this guy, this guy's like, this, this is in 2017 where he'll get out of his car and shoot the whole bus. But but it, this was the 90s, so he's just screaming at this bus, and the bus driver's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> There's kids on here. There's, yeah, those kids are pissing. You know? <laughs> and, and, and so the, the best ending to the story is that when, when we, you know, everybody parts their ways at eighth grade, and they have their signature book and the yearbook, and every single fucking comment, Phil, you'll always be remembered. <laughs> Bottle plus bus equals Phil good times. Or, bo- <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's my that's my whole fucking yearbook. <laughs> your your uh your legacy. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. So I'm uh, glad to be pissing on the world for life. That, that that is uh that is how that goes. Oh, uh, another another funny thing. Yeah. I I don't think I was I think I mentioned um when uh say nothing and uh John and me mm. when we were younger we'd always we didn't have shit to do. So, so we don't piss on each other. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's, Dude, wait, is this gay? No, no, keep <laughs> keep doing it. No, no but so so we'd uh, break into random uh, abandoned buildings and abandoned whatever stores and shit. And one time, I think um, John wasn't there. I don't remember who I went. I think I went with a random friend <laughs> to scare the shit out of him or my brother. But we broke into a Dominic's. Or did I tell you about this? The biscuit thing. <laughs> I know the story. I don't know if it made it onto the podcast. Oh, okay, okay. So. There was it was really stupid. It was in the same fucking plaza, but there was a grocery store when Dominic's was still around. I don't know if anybody will know who the f- what the fuck Dominic's is, but they I moved know. from like this the eastern end to the southern end. It was in this corner. They just moved the store over, so they kept a lot of the old shit or the stuff that can go bad or that or that can't go bad in the old store. So we break in there. We find this. You know those biscuit cans where you you gotta you smack hit them, them and they yeah and they pop out yeah, well for the bakery they they had a fifty gallon sealed drum of dough, and I'm just like oh man oh no, <laughs> I, I look at my friend and I say you know what'd be really cool we should like make a car sized huge <laughs> piece of bread to eat, <laughs> so we just set it on fire. <laughs> And then, and then and then it explodes because how the fuck is a seven year old <laughs> gonna pick up a fifty gallon barrel of dough, and then and then we just look like the doughboy just sharded <laughs> all over us. <laughs> so you have pieces of dough, and then I come home and yes, yeah, Philip, where were you? Uh, we were just hanging out and doing. <laughs> uh, you, you you are a weird kid because you, you got fucking dough all over you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Don't turn on the TV. In other right. news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The Great Biscuit Bandit mystery has been solved. <laughs> yep. That's uh, That was the Doughboy's sister books, yeah. st- stuffed in there, man. <laughs> Someone just reopened a file on you. <laughs> hey, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was that fucking kid that threw that bottle of piss at that bus. It had to have been him. <laughs> Somehow those are connected. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, so, some officer is put on desk duty because of his crazy conspiracy theory. He's just right. been vindicated because of this. He's got the whiteboard. Like, no, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, all the all the like uh, the the little pieces of yarn attaching yeah. photos and like maps to but shit. What does it mean? <laughs> the bis- what does it all mean? The biscuit like, capo. Piss bucket. <laughs> How do we get from from dough to piss? <laughs> I don't and, know. Th- and then and then the you know, the the uh what what do you call the great ending? They just put my picture at the top. The biscuit capo, <laughs> Philip, piss bottle Lysaki. <laughs> <laughs> He's got torn out pieces from that yearbook with all the, <laughs> <laughs> all the writing, uh, the signatures. This guy's good. I couldn't get prints on it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. All right. Are you gonna cooperate? Because <laughs> we, we we can get you unlimited <laughs> uh, unlimited biscuits for life. You know, right. <laughs> a whole car sized biscuit. To, yeah, to dude, I, I I don't eat bread anymore. Is, so you're, you so all right. <laughs> we got to question this guy better. Yeah. What's a, what's good cop bad cop for the bread bandit? I mean, 
Yeah, does he bring in like, do, do you want do you want some of this dough? You want some of this dough? And then bad cop comes up and starts kneading it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you, you want this? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna ruin it, make it mushy and sticky. I got your fucking dough head in a vice. <laughs> <laughs> make it stop. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> No, you're here now. <laughs> this is political stuff. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, right? I mean, it takes uh, it takes large minds over here. <laughs> that just solving we the need to context. Problems. We need to context somebody who knows his dough politics like Trump to be in the next. You know that. Yeah, no, we'll get our specialist. We'll get the stinking of biscuit dough on the show. It it, it looks like he started at this shithole and he went to this shithole. <laughs> Crime solved. It's a, <laughs> I think that that's, uh, that was the theory. That was offensive right there. I'm sorry, guys. The, the abandoned Dominics was not a shithole. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of good people came from it. Yeah. yeah. And man, they're probably saving that gallon drum of biscuit dough for like a very special occasion. Yeah, I'm going to be in some biscuit mob museum, right? Oh, we're going to make special biscuits for the new grand opening. It's going to be great. Everyone loves biscuits. Someone lost their job. Right. Look, there's a trail of Linda? dough footprints. <laughs> Linda, we always knew you had a thing with the dough. And yeah. Is that? Do you feel a lot of guilt about no. what you did? No. No, I <laughs> no. think I think that. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Give me the fryer, the heart shaped fryer. You stay the fuck away from my dog. All right, all right. <laughs> no, so, man, they, I don't. No, they, did any of you guys ever have a potato launcher growing up? No. No. I I I remember one party in high school where somebody had one, mm. and it, I remember it being a perpetual disappointment. Same here. I it didn't fucking work, right? Yeah, it was like well, we got it to we got it to work, but it was just like we didn't get it to work right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of just like it was impotent. <laughs> it went, but it didn't. You know, my mine just didn't. I, I think you have to somehow get it super airtight, right? With the PVC mm-hmm. glue, which, ha- which, which like it's it's really hard to do, especially as like a kid, like thinking that all the way through and getting all the caulking done properly, and yeah, I do. Speaking speaking of that fucking psycho who who wants me to own a gun and a Ford truck, he's like, man, I I used to shoot bunny rabbits with my potato launcher. Yeah, that's you. That's uh, some like psychopath shit right there. Yeah, how do you, how do you like, sh- how do you like, sh- like attacking small animals? That 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 wouldn't even. That is such a bullshit story. How the fuck do you aim? L- l- like, did, l- this guy I is, is bitching at me for not having a Ford truck, but somehow he has the intricate calculations to measure wind against potato velocity <laughs> <laughs> and then times a, a bunny rabbit. Oh, oh, you know. Maybe we should be listening to him. Maybe he's a genius. Yeah, maybe. He's misunderstood. Uh do you remember Scott Deering, Phil? I remember that name. When, when, I bet you if I saw him, and when you tell me a story about him, I'll, I'll know who you're talking about. So he's since passed, so the likelihood of you seeing him uh, kind of small, but... I he, saw him, man. I saw him. Um, I remember him now <laughs> in my dream. <laughs> but you, no. you, didn't, uh, you didn't pay the GoFundMe enough, so uh, he came to haunt you. Um, so... He lived across the street from <laughs> our middle school, and my friends and I were walking around, and he was out in his garage, and he shouts, hey, you guys want to see something cool? And we get closer, and he realizes, oh, shit, it's Bill, Zach, and Monica, or whoever we were with at the time. And we're like, wait, dude, you were just shouting at strangers to come into your garage? Like, that's weird. And he's like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Yeah. And he had made a golf ball cannon, which... I assume is more dangerous than a potato cannon. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And he was just launching it at the it middle would, school. It, <laughs> it would make golf a lot more cooler sport. Oh, yeah. It would. Shoot full, the full fucking contact. Yeah. Yeah. And that shit was cool and it worked like nobody's business. But after like two rounds fired, we were like, all right, we're. we're Before gonna, you start <laughs> aiming that at us. Yeah, we're we're going to go, buddy. You you have fun in your garage. It's like that, uh, that one kid who. Uh, and this is this is a real story. Um, there was some kid, and I think it was somewhere south, like is Louisiana. This is a real story. So this is a real story okay. that built a nuclear reactor in his garage, and was like 
arrested by by like the DOD because you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't, you can't like, you, you can't just fucking build a nuclear reactor. And this kid was I, just like, the, the, I, was, the, I was bored and I knew, I knew yeah. how to do it. It's like, what the fuck? They just arrest him. <laughs> I yeah. roll the nickels. <laughs> I deal the cards. <laughs> I got a motorcycle and a sleeping bag. What do I need a job for? <laughs> no, no, I have a nuclear reactor in my garage. <laughs> Prepare no for the believe. race war. <laughs> oh, and that was another quote that this fucking psycho... <laughs> Did he not? Th- he said prepare for the race war. He told me that, yeah. Uh, and then I and then I told him, I'm like, okay, Uncle Chuck Manson. Never. And, and, and then and he's like, no, I'm being fucking serious, man. Ooh, ooh, like, can, I, can I go off of Charles Manson real quick? Yeah. By all means. Um, can I uh, see the orange yellow? Re- it's in front of you? Yep. Oh, Wait, of course. No, not that one. one. There you go. Um, so... I I think I told you this, Bill, and I blame you for this. Um, <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> so I was introduced to the musical stylings of of uh, the late Charles Manson via my friend Bill here, um, who is a huge fan and uh, has since converted me. And you actually uh, like it? Oh God, no! It's uh, it's horrifying. What? But it but it is interesting because it is it is like a snapshot into the mind of a man ma- of a <laughs> madman. Yeah. Look but at your game, girl. Is a great song. And I chose not to play the good ones for you. I chose to the, play the deliberately dude, there's the deliberately ones. terrifying yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I there, know. I've listened. Th- I've listened to them all, and I know. I know which are which. But I'm sure you're familiar with the uh, with the beautiful and well known song "Garbage Dump." Mm-hmm. Um, well, as I was saying earlier, I was in Canada not too long ago, and uh, my roommate, roommate with Frenchman. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, my roommate get uses, out of here. You're not my Spotify to uh, play music throughout our whole apartment through the, the speaker system. What he didn't know is that I can control the music that goes on there from anywhere in the <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he listened to Garbage Dump about 10 times in one day to the point where uh, he became so infuriated that he kept blowing my phone up <laughs> because every time he would put a new song on, I would queue up Garbage Dump <laughs> next. <laughs> So you had a lot to do so in he's, Canada. He's he's scarred with that, and I still do it to him from time to time. And he freaks the fuck out. <laughs> like it, it's not a joke to him anymore. <laughs> no, that, you know that could be really mean. I mean, what if what if you're like, yeah, take this acid left over while I go on vacation? No, I wouldn't. And well, then and then, no, and then, I, and then I just, would never do that to him. I just kept hearing garbage to him. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter. It said it was fucking you know Led Zeppelin or or you know fucking rush you know at this point that might happen because it's so like i feel like he does have a little bit of paranoia now every time i'm out of the house and he's <laughs> listening to the spotify yeah. i'm pretty sure I, I i i did feel a little bit bad about this but i'm pretty sure he was trying to uh to have sex with a girl that was over and, and they were listening to some music and i definitely switched <laughs> that <laughs> shit <laughs> as, as as mean as that is um <laughs> kelly's brother so gavin's uncle um, he likes to, we, we like to toughen Gavin up, teach him the world of busting balls. So, um, Gavin would always get mad when, um, have you guys ever, uh, th- I, I don't know what it is. It's like a game. It's, it's a song that's supposed to make fun of like preteen gamer kids who don't do shit. And it's just like, just want to play video games. Just want to. Th- that's the chorus, and it's it's, mm. and, and then the verses are just like I just sit around, do nothing at all, complain at my parents because they want me to go out, and then it's just <laughs> it's it's really fucking stupid. They well don't they candy. don't give me candy, so what can I do? <laughs> just wanna play video game, and for the longest time, when Kelly was living with her parents, the the. F- f- how ironic because because the brother he's a huge fucking gamer on it still in well i think he's still on a play he would live in the basement and he'd chromecast that song on the upstairs tv whenever gavin would watch tv <laughs> <laughs> so gavin fucking hates that song <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh that, that'll that teach him uh some lessons down the road yeah or you know just like fuck him up forever one yeah. of those two it's one of those two yeah Speaking of, um, I think you mentioned, uh, it reminded me of kind of a pretty funny story of how you mentioned oh, s- that Scott Deering has passed. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother's going to hate me for this, 
but here, here's here's kind of where I don't, and I'm going to tell you guys the story because I want to know if I'm crossing the line with, I thought this would be funny if, oh, I don't know what was that, but God. that was Scott Deering. He's like, don't fucking talk about <laughs> me, man. No. <laughs> No, but yeah, my brother's going to hit me about this, but uh, he had a friend. Did you? Um, well, it's good. I don't remember what his name was, <laughs> but maybe maybe that's why I don't remember. A motherfucker came in here. Yeah, go, just so. wiped it from your fucking mind. No, but uh, for for the, for anybody who listens to the podcast, not the video, the, the lights just went out randomly and went back on. But yeah, any, <laughs> a, a, anyways, he had this friend who something happened. He... Fuck, I don't know what his name was, but he had a friend in his grade who he was in some horrible, horrible accident, and he was in the middle of high school, I think. No, no, he was just starting high school, and he was in some, I don't know if it was a car accident or whatever. He he lost all feeling from waist down. He was going to be like in a wheelchair for the rest of his life, and he uh, passed away. And oh, no, he didn't. He he was he was in a wheelchair, and he went to he. His parents were gonna pay for all his college and all this shit, but he was just so fucking depressed. He's like, I can't even get laid when I'm just going to high school and want to get fucking laid, and all this. So he he fucking killed himself, and I didn't. And, and my brother's telling me about this, and I'm like, I I, I kind of wanted to I don't know cheer him up or have some comic relief. So I I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of shitty. Did he? I mean, I, I could still maybe find some fun being in a wheelchair. I mean, I wouldn't call it the end of the world. It was like those fucking, those guy, the Lithuanian guys. You ran it. Your life is yeah. shit, you know. But, but I, I think you could still live with a wheel. So I just wanted to humor up, and I go, well, dude, you could probably do some badass fucking tricks on that wheelchair in the skate park. And my brother got really offended by that, and then unfortunately, I got him even more mad because I got really stoned that night. And I wanted to see if there is professional wheelchair tr- tricksters. <laughs> and? Um, and, dude, the only thing I could find online, there was a person who, like, matched a video. Uh, it, it was a whole, you know that first level in Tony Hawk 1? Warehouse? Where, where you drop in and it's in, in that indoor dark warehouse. Uh, yeah. I know exactly. And you go off the ramp like. and you break through the glass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to get the, yeah. To get the did you, did you see? Yes. Did, you see the, did you see the video? No, I haven't it's, seen the video it's, of that, it's, but it's, I, it's I, just, I remember that game. It's a, it's really shitty clip, different pictures of Stephen Hawking doing like a 900, <laughs> <laughs> and then like a backflip. And it's just like, and, and, and while he's in the air, he's like, Oh yes, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> now I am grinding. <laughs> did they have Goldfinger playing in the background? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, they did. <laughs> so here I am. Is that what it? Yeah, doing everything <laughs> I can. Da da da, because I am. That was a great game. I'm a Superman. And you always knew which one it was because the cartridge was blue. <laughs> and uh, I always thought that was a, that was uh, in good taste. Sure. Yeah. It's the same thing with like, the yellow. Donkey Kong, yellow Donkey Kong, and then Golden Eye was a gold cartridge, or some of them were limited release. Right? Wasn't wasn't Turok or Zelda green? Yeah, one of them. I know there was a green one, and I think there's a red one too, but I don't know what the red one was. Wait, I think Wave Racer was blue. Maybe Wave Racer was blue. I don't. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of what? What the hell am I thinking of? I don't know. All I know is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. We need to keep <laughs> this topic of colored cartridges, okay? So keep it going, guys. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> for all of our listeners out there, we're referring to uh, an old game system called the Nintendo 64. And it had game cartridges that you would physically place in the top of the console. And most of them came as like a very sterile gray color. But sometimes the manufacturers would... Go out on a limb and add color, spice it up. Yeah. This was this was this is so old. They used to. It was not offensive to call those cartridges colors. And so, um, and we did separate them from yes. the rest of the, the gray ones. Uh, but but in they good, were all good treated good. equally. Well, the, the separate I think but equal. The, the, yeah, the colored ones were actually better because they were limited. So we actually treated them better. So they were definitely the minority of the yeah game console yes world. Just like well. 
I think it's time to take a break. This is getting too real right here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and on that uplifting <laughs> note, yeah. that, as we mentioned oh, earlier, racism lives. Yay! That, that, uh, so we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Thank you, everyone, for watching us and for hopefully not judging us too harshly for the vile <laughs> shit that comes out of our mouths. Yeah. Um, actually, before we go on a break, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, on Friday, I was leaving work and I was talking with one of my coworkers and he asked, do you have big plans for the weekend? And I said, yeah, kind of on Saturday, recording another episode of my podcast. And he said, oh yeah, I heard someone talking about that. What's uh, what's your podcast like? And whenever people ask me that, I always just flat out tell them like, oh, it's awful. Like, I, d- I don't want you listening to it what <laughs> let me finish i gotta talk oh, wait, to, no, my, I gotta talk to <laughs> my agent about booking me on this well yeah i know your agent fucked up uh and it's like no Damn it can't it, be though. that bad and i said well last episode i got our friend who's a little slower uh to sing and i made really like uh, distasteful comments about his family members and that's just uh that's really what the <laughs> podcast is about so, so, so if you're into that sort of thing, and he's like, no, 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 thank you. Uh, <laughs> and on that uplifting note, we'll be right back. Is this the